On a recent video, a viewer asked this question. Give an assorted array consisting of n distinct integers, and an integer k. The task is to find the index of k if it's present in the array. Otherwise, find the index where k must be inserted to keep the array sorted. So let's go over an example of how to solve this problem in C. So for example, if we have an array that looks like this with 2, 4, 6, and 8, and k is 5, the index where k must be inserted is 2. And we know that because 2 is less than 5, 4 is less than 5, but 6 is greater than 5. And so if we want to keep the array sorted, k would have to be inserted right here. And so k, which in this case is 5, would have to be inserted at index 2. And remember, we start counting indexes from 0 in C. So 2 here is at index 0, 4 is at index 1, and 5 would then be at index 2. Now, what if k was 6? In that case, we would check 2. 2 is less than 6. We would check 4. 4 is less than 6. We would check 5. 5 is less than 6. We check 6. And at that point, 6 is equal to 6. And we know that the index for k is 3 because we have index 0, index 1, index 2, and then index 3. So basically what we have to do is search through the array from the left to the right. Once we find the element that is either equal to k or greater than k, we know k is either at that spot or it has to be inserted at that spot. Now there is one other case we got to worry about. That's the case where k is not in the array at all. So let's say for example that k is 12. In this case here, we would go through the entire array but each time we would see that the element is less than k. And we would actually reach the end of the array. So k would actually have to be inserted at index 5 in this case, the length of the array, because we have at index 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, that all those elements are less than k, and none of them are equal to k either. So k is going to have to go at the end of the array, which is actually going to be the length of the array in terms of how many elements are in the array. So let's actually try to solve this problem now in C. We'll make a function to find this index, and the function is gonna accept as arguments the array itself, the length of the array, as well as k. And it's gonna find this index we're looking for, where either k is or where k belongs in the sorted array. Then we'll provide a definition of the function down here. And it actually won't take too much code to solve this problem. Because what we're going to do is make a loop. We'll say for int i is equal to 0, i is less than the length of the array, i++. plus plus. And so this loop is going to go through each element in the array, starting off at the first index and going up to the last element in the array. And what we're going to check for is that property we found, is that if the array element is equal to k, then we found the position. But if the array element is greater than k, we found where k needs to go. So we'll check for both those properties at once. We'll say if the array at index i is greater than or equal to k, then we're going to return the index i. So this piece of code here is going to solve most of the problem right here. Let's go over it, though, to make sure we understand what's going on. So again, let's imagine we have our array here i is initially going to be 0 when this loop starts off. And i is basically keeping track of our position in the array. Now let's say that k in this case is equal to 7. So k is equal to 7, and what we're doing here is we're checking. If the array at index i is greater than or equal to k, we're going to return i. Otherwise, we're going to keep going. The loop is just going to keep going. So what's going to happen is we're going to check to see is 2 greater than or equal to 7. It's not. So then we increment i, and now i is going to look at the next index in the array. We check again. Is the array at index i greater than or equal to k? It's not. We keep going. Is 5 greater than or equal to 7? It's not. We keep going. Is 6? It's not. We keep going. And then finally, we have this array element here, 8, where it is going to be greater than or equal to k, because it's greater than k. And then we know that 7 would have to go here 
to keep the array sorted. So at that point, we're going to return this index. And the index in this case is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're going to return 4 in that case. Now, in the case that we get through the entire array and none of the elements were greater than or equal to k, if that's the case, we know to return the length of the array because we know the element k has to be put onto the end of the array at that point. So at this point here, if we get through the loop, we're just going to return the length. And this will do it. This right here will solve the problem. But we should test our function out. So let's write some code to test it out now. Up here, we'll say int array1 is equal to 1, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. The length of the array is 6. So we'll set this variable length1 to 6. And for our k value, let's choose initially 8. Then we're going to try to call the function. So we'll say int index1 to store the return value is equal to find index array1 length1 one, k1. One. So 8 is at index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we expect index1 to be 4. Let's print it out though and see. So we'll say printf index1 percent %d backslash n and we're going to output index 1 as this integer here and we'll also output a new line as well. So let's save this and run it and we do get that 8 is at index 4. So the k value of 8 returns us index 4. What about something that's not in the array? So what about 6? So there is no value 6 in the array. But 6 belongs at index 0, 1, 2, 3. It belongs at this index here, 3. If we save this and run it, we get back index 3. So it appears to be working. Let's try the case that the k value is greater than everything in the array. So we'll try 11. In this case, we should get back index 6. Because once we go through the entire array, the next element would be at index 6. And so k should go here. We'll save this and run it. And again, we get back the correct answer, index 6. So we've solved the problem using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.